Hello there. In this video lecture, we are trying to learn the force of friction on a wheel. So far, we have seen the a rectangular object is trying to move on the horizontal plane by applying the force, either the pull or push force we applied. So in this case, what will happen? So I would like to explain the phenomena over here and then I can switch over to the wheel. So in this case, what happened? I have taken one horizontal plane and then I made it to sit with the one rectangular block which is going to be have the weight in the downward direction. It is always active. So in this case, what will happen? I am going to be applying the force in this direction, the P. Right? The P is going to be the applied force. W is going to be the self weight of the system. Then in this case, what will happen? The body which is going to be contact with the horizontal plane that has some rigid rigidness. This is going to be the normal reaction force is going to be acting in the upward direction. Because of this applied force, the body is trying to move towards this side. This is going to be your, the direction of impending the motion to the body. So then what will happen? The body is trying to move towards this side. But the frictional force is going to be opposing the force that is going to be F. So this is going to be your frictional force which is going to be opposing. Because of this one, the body it may not be rolling. Right? So because here the force is going to be acting always the tangential to this one. At the same time, the configuration or geometrical properties of this body also is not allowed to move in the, the rolling motion. But rather than it is going to be sliding on the horizontal surface. Now our topic is that the wheels are going to be. So in this case, what will happen? So we can make the wheel, wheel to move in the forward direction by applying the two type of the forces. One, we are going to be applying the force. Second one, by applying the torque. Suppose, in the first I am going to be applying the forces. So in this case what I am going to do, I am going to be taking a wheel. So that's the same as that wheel I have taken and this is going to be considered in the C. So then in this case what will happen, I am going to be taking the self weight of the member is going to be W and it is going to be rested on the horizontal plane. So right, so then what will happen in this case, I am going to be applying the force in this direction. So that's going to be the P. So the same P also we applied over here. In this case, can you guess how this body is going to be moved forward? Because if that is also depends on the friction, because it is going to be the distance between the, this, this means the radius of the wheel is going to be R, we are going to be safe. Whether the body is going to be slight or it is going to be rolled with the translatory motion is depends on this the friction. If the friction force is going to be more, then automatically what will happen? The tangent, that means the torque is going to be generating in the body and it will start to roll. If the friction force is going to be less, and then automatically the body is going to be start uh, sliding on that member. That I am going to say here. So this I have taken the center is going to be the C here. See that I want to by assuming the two forces we have considered. And then in this case, the reaction force is going to be always acting vertically upward direction. Thus, we know that. And the P is going to be applied force on this member. So then in this case, the friction force is going to be opposing the motion of your body in this direction. That I am going to be considering F, F is going to be small F. We, that is the friction force is going to be acting. So then in this case, what will happen? Can you see the force is going to be acting in this direction, but the friction force is going to be acting. Then, as we know that, the friction force F is equal to mu into R, we are going to take it, or mu into the normal reactions we generally use to take it. So, in this case, mu is going to be the coefficient of friction, M is going to be the normal reactions we are going to be considering. So, then, what will happen in this case? When we are going to be say, this body is going to be rolling, when this body is going to be sliding in these two conditions, when this is going to be sigma F, that means the frictional force is going to be equal to Fn. Then what will happen in this case, that body is going to be start to sliding without having any rolling position. When the frictional force is less than mu into n, so then this condition is going to be representing the body is going to be start to roll. I hope you got it. When a body is going to be need, the rolling motion means the frictional force, the magnitude must be less than the this force. And when the force is going to be equal to this one, then what will happen? This body is going to be trying to sliding on the applied direction. At the same time, when this is going to be greater than 1, the one more case is going to be F is greater than mu n suppose. So this case is going to be always we are going to be say the body is in the, uh, the static condition. It is not going to be sliding or not in the rolling motion. It is going to be standstill condition. 
So these are the, the three conditions we have seen for this part. So our second condition is going to be torque applied on the body. The before condition is that we apply the force, either pull or push force we applied on the body and make to see whether the body is going to be rolling or maybe the sliding. That is also depends here, the roll, the geometrical figure is going to be the wheel. Wheel always we assume that it is going to be rolling, but there is the two conditions we have seen that whether it is a rolling or not, that depends on the frictional force we are going to be seeing. And in the second case, I'm going to be applying the torque in this case. So to understand this one, we need to go, I'm going to be keeping the wheel and apply the torque over in this direction, right? This is going to be the T, this is the center. So then what I'm going to do to understand this one, the frictional force. So then in this case, what would happen? I'm going to be keeping in the sand. So this is going to be the a sand, the, which is going to be mounted in this one. When we are applying the, the torque to this wheel, automatically what will happen, the sand is not going to be generated at that level of the reaction force or the friction. So then what will happen, rather than moving in the forward direction, but it is going to be rotating in the same position. So then what will happen, the sand is going to be start to move in this direction. Because these particles are going to be subjected to the, the centrifugal forces which is going to be sticking to this part. Because this wheel has certain velocity, the speed is there, automatically whatever the particles are going to be coming in contact in this part, then they are going to be gaining the same velocity, magnitude and then it is going to be moving in this direction. So these conditions, what will happen in this case? So the friction force is not going to be developing over here, that's why the wheel is not moving in the forward direction. If the friction force is going to be generating over here, then automatically we are going to be getting the, the motion going to be moved in the forward direction. Either you can take the water also or the fluid also you can take it. Any of this one, this is going to be the same situation. But now I am going to be taking it on a hard surface where it can generate the, the frictional force. So in this case what will happen? So this is going to be your circular object that means the wheel and I was applied the torque as sign and this is the center. So in this case, what will happen? So then we do have here the self weight always acting in the downward direction. Okay. And then the reaction force is also coming to the body. Then in this case, the torque is going to be generating. So then where is the frictional force is going to be generating? Because already the normal reaction forces are generating. The self weight is going to be also acting. So then when this body is going to be trying to move in this direction, there is a contact point is going to be established on the hard surface. So then in this case what will happen, this contact point is going to be maintaining the velocity is equal to zero. So then which direction the frictional force is going to be acting. But due to this one, the body is going to be trying to move in this direction. So that's the dotted arrow is representing you are the impending motion to this body. At the same time, the particles are going to be trying to move towards this side. Suppose. So then what will happen, the friction force is going to be acting towards the forward direction. So in this case, the friction, this body is going to be trying to move towards this side. Can you see? With respect to this point, the C, then this body is going to be rotating in this direction. Then which direction? The friction force is going to be. When this friction force is going to be generating to the driving wheel, then automatically the body is going to be trying to roll or the translation is going to be taking in the forward direction. Because the friction force is helping this body to move in the forward direction. But if it is going to be friction force acting towards this side, so then the wheel is not going to be moving in the forward direction, rather than it is going to be generating in the same conditions.